Okay, let's go through the answers to um, example number one. So the first thing we need to do is work out the direction of the current, which is conventional current. So it comes out of positive and into negative. So it's going to, let's just get a, it's going to come along here through the rod in that direction and then back to the negative terminal. So that is the direction that your thumb will point. The magnetic field lines always come out of north, so they're going to go down towards the ground. Okay, so that's B, and that's the direction that your fingers will point. So if you use your right hand and you've got your current sort of coming out of the page and your fingers pointing down to the ground, you will see that your palm is pointing to the right, and so that that is the direction that will be that the that the rod will move in. And that's the direction of the force. And that's the direction that your palm will face. So that's, so in answer to the question, you would say to the right. For part B, you will notice that the current's going in the same direction. So again, it's coming through here. And the way I can tell so quickly is looking at the positive and negative terminals. Uh, the magnet's being turned around this time, so the magnetic field will be going up. And that's the direction your fingers would point. And as you can see, your palm is then facing in the opposite direction, so the rod will move in the opposite direction, and so it will come this way. And that's the direction that my palm's facing. And so in answer to the question, it will be to <coughs> the left. In number three, we can see that uh, the, the terminals have been swapped over. So the, the current is then going to be going in the opposite direction this time. So I going that way. That's the direction your thumb will point. Magnetic field is coming straight down out of north. That's the direction your fingers will point. And... Um, you can see that that will also create a force to the left. So the rod will move that way. So that's force that way. That's the direction that your palm faces. So in answer to the question, it will also be to the left. And then in D, you'll notice that the magnetic... Oh, let's do current first, sorry. The current will come out of positive and into negative. So the current will be going that way. And the magnetic field strength will be going from north, will be going that way. And you can see that you, there is no way that you can get your thumb and your fingers to be at 90 degrees to each other. At, sorry, at 180 degrees to each other. They don't work like that. 180 degrees doesn't work. So because of that, there is no force created in this one. No force because then these... Uh, at 180 degrees, and you can't have that. They have to be at 90 degrees to each other. Thanks. Thanks.